In this secluded mountain retreat lives the man that Turkey's president accuses of plotting to overthrow him. Fethullah Gulen, an Islamic cleric who used to be Mr. Erdogan's ally, now seen as a dangerous rival. Despite ill health, he's taken the rare step of publicly defending himself. Mr. Erdogan and his supporters say, insist that they can prove that you were behind the attempted coup in Turkey. How do you respond to that? It's up to them to produce evidence, he told me. He condemned the coup attempt as treason and said he would have tried to stop a takeover if he'd known about it. My attitude is that even at the helm of the country, there are people uh, who would like to uh, repress me and suppress me and oppress me at the level of uh, blood-sucking vampires. Then I do not want them to be removed in anti-democratic means. This is my attitude toward any and even the idea or the consideration of military coup. Protesters who gathered at the weekend think otherwise that Mr. Gulen leads a movement which has quietly taken over Turkey's bureaucracy to subvert the government from within. He doesn't seem to live the life of a powerful coup mastermind, but from these Spartan quarters he does inspire possibly millions of followers. He urged them to stay peaceful, but had harsh words for Mr. Erdogan's crackdown. <laughs> In such a horrible picture, uh, it's not possible to talk about democracy anymore, it's not possible to talk about constitution anymore, it's not possible to talk about republican form of government anymore. Uh, this, uh, this kind of regime resembles more uh, like a clan or a tribe, tribal uh, administration. Mr. Gulen seemed unfazed by President Erdogan's plans for a formal extradition request, although it looked as if he could pack quickly if he had to. But this could create headaches for the U.S. government. This is not going to go away. Turkey's president is intent on pressing his case. The Americans want to see evidence that would stand up in a U.S. court. So the fate of Mr. Gulen could impact not only developments in Turkey, but also relations between Washington and Ankara. Barbara Platt, Usher, BBC News, Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania.